Cash enforces .NET common languages. Who invented or who developed this programming language? Unify type system will avoid the problem like integer range. You can develop your own applications like that using the Cash. Hello everyone, I welcome all of you to the very very interesting and the first session on .NET programming. Yes, all of you are busy with your projects. So most of you would have selected uh, the platform or the programming languages as uh, Android or Java. But some of you are still thinking that can I go for a .NET programming for my project? This question will come to all of you because you have not studied. Most of you have not come across with this programming language and you might think that, yeah, I don't know. It might be very difficult. My dear students, I will promise you it's going to be very simple and very easy. So if you don't know this programming language, I think you guys are in the right place to learn the language completely. So what is that I have to do, sir, to learn this programming language completely? Yes, you just have to follow all my sessions in detail, one by one. So without wasting much of your time again, let me tell you what exactly that I'm going to discuss in today's session. The first thing which I'm going to discuss before I start the subject is all about overview of OOP. So you already, you would have studied this concept, but before I start this session, so I will speak about it for two minutes. Then after that, I will also speak about the introduction to C Ash. So what is this C Ash, sir? You are speaking about the .NET programming and you're saying C Ash. We also call it as a C sharp, okay? .NET programming is also called as C sharp. That's what you need to remember. So after that, I will uh, discuss a very, very important part. This is going to be a very important part in this session. So why? You can expect this question for seven or eight marks. So it's going to be a very important part in this session. After that, I will also discuss one more thing. That's going to be the last part of the session. So you can expect this for two marks, okay? Applications, uh, where do I use this .NET programming and the C Sharp is what I will be discussing at the end. So guys, let's check what I have in my back. So what is the first topic? So introduction, as I told you, before I speak about the introduction, let me tell you what exactly the overview of OOP. My dear students, we have a different types of programming language. So in that, so you would have come across with the object oriented programming language. So it is most advantageous than any other programming language. Sir, why do you say it is most advantageous than any other programming language? Because object oriented programming has got some of the features like abstraction. You all know what is the meaning of abstraction. If I write or if I say abstraction, the first thing it should come to your mind is hiding the unwanted information. Abstraction in the sense what? Hiding the unwanted information is what? I will call it as a abstraction. So that is the first thing which you should think. The second one, whenever I say abstraction, the next thing obviously I will be speaking about the encapsulation that is the second thing what is the meaning of encapsulation wrapping up of all the units or all the data into a single unit is what i will call it as a encapsulation so that is going to be the second one so what is the third one that i have obviously you all know that inheritance so guys, inheriting the property from the base class to the subclass is what I will call it as a inheritance. Like this, the next one that I have is polymorphism. You all know that polymorphism, is it? No, it is polymorphism. Poly in the sense, many. Morphism in the sense, forms. I have one object. So one object acts different in different situation. For example, take myself, okay? I will be a lecturer in front of you. I will be a friend to my friend. I will be a son to my father, but I'm the only one. So you can consider me as an object, but I'm acting different in different situation. So this is what I will call it as a polymorphism. So that is what I have as a fourth topic. Like this, I have a many other topics like data binding or we have message passing. So all these things will come under the concept of the features of object oriented programming. 
all of you know all these topics right so why are you discussing this now sir before you start discussing the introduction to c ash so you can ask me yes keep this in mind i will come back what exactly the c ash is all about yes of course c ash is one of the famous programming language that all of us has got who invented or who developed this programming language so it was developed by microsoft people so that's what you need to remember c ash is developed by microsoft people in us that's the first thing that you need to remember at this point of time the second important point as i told you in the beginning so the concepts are the overview of oop so now remember c ash remember everybody c ash is one of the completely or fully object oriented programming language so why do you say fully or completely object oriented programming language so my dear students everything in the c ash or in the dot net programming will be treated in the form of classes and objects so i will be discussing that in detail so as of now you just have to remember c ash is a object oriented programming language like java even java also it's a object oriented programming language is what you need to remember at this point of time and c ash supports many features which i have listed here okay i will be speaking this features one by one in detail so in this topic that's going to be the characteristics of c ash so my dear students as i told you so this is going to be very important with respect to your exam point of view so what is that i have the first one the first characteristics of this programming language so what is the meaning of characteristics could you please explain that characteristics in the sense feature say for example i've taken a boy so tell me the feature of this boy yes this boy is tall he's uh, white you know his color is white and he has got a good physique and he is very decent so all these things are the feature of this boy so which explains about him in the same way another word for the feature is what i will call it as a characteristics so to understand the concept or the behavior of that particular programming language so i will be discussing the characteristics so characteristics explains what exactly that programming language is all about the first one that i have under the characteristics is all about the simple what is the meaning of simple the first thing that you need to remember whenever i say simple so please understand c ash c ash eliminates some of the operators so observe what is that operator so these operators will be eliminated these operators will be eliminated from the programming languages okay so that's why it's going to become very very simple that's what you need to remember my dear students i will repeat so c ash is going to eliminate the operators like pointer operators like scope resolution operator which we were using in the c++ that operators are not there in c ash that's why i will call it as a simple and i have one more reason so observe so it will treat integer and boolean as a separate data types it will not treat both as same it will treat integer as a separate and boolean as a separate that is what you need to observe here so these two reasons are making this programming language simple so that's the first point that you need to remember so moving forward to the second one that i have it's consistent why do i use a word called consistent before i explain this topic to you let's understand the word meaning what is the meaning of the word consistent say for example i have a student like let's take a, a sohel okay so when sohel has scored 70 marks in the first semester and 40 marks in the second semester again 90 marks in the third semester and 30 marks in the next semester so do you feel the marks whatever he is scoring is consistent no suppose if he would have scored 40 in the first semester 45 in the second semester 43 in the third semester and 45 in the fourth semester do you think now the marks is consistent yes so this is the meaning of consistency okay it should be in a same range so that's what we call it as a consistency so fine what are you speaking with respect to this programming language sir so observe carefully 
Now, what happens? C ash supports unified type system. That's the most important thing. Unified type system in the sense what? It treats everything as an object. I repeat, it treats everything as an object. So that is the main advantage that we have. So what is the advantage if it treats everything as an object? Observe carefully. So guys, what happens is, which eliminates, since it is having the unified type system, unified type system in the sense, it treats everything as an object. So because I have this feature, it eliminates the problem of varying the ranges of integer type. You don't have to worry about the range of the integer type. Say for example, I need to store some value. Okay, it requires more range. It requires more memory. So I have to dynamically keep allocating or I have to uh, allocate it. So a lot of uh, memory issues will come. So in this case, I don't have to worry at all because all the data types are treated as objects. All are same here. That's what you need to observe here. So this unified type system will avoid the problem like integer ranging. So that's what you need to remember. That's why there is a consistency because all the data type will be treated as objects. So there is, there is no varying. So that's what you need to notice it here in this point. That's why they call it as a consistent. Moving forward to the next point that I have modern. Why do they call it as a modern? So, because it has got new features than any other programming languages. So, that's why they will call it as a modern. Moving forward to the next point, object oriented. So, obviously, it supports the features of object oriented, which we discussed in the beginning. It supports abstraction, it supports encapsulation, it supports inheritance. All these things are supported by C ash. That's why they call it as a object oriented. So, obviously, you all know that. So, let me not spend some time on that. So, now, type safe. What is the meaning of type safe? Imagine I have two objects. One object is sneaking into the memory of another object. So sneaking in the sense like, you know, for example, let me use some other word. So this object is forcefully occupying the memory of this object. So there is a problem for us. So to avoid this, we have a concept called type safe. Type safe will avoid the problem of object which is occupying the memory of another object so forcefully. So this will be avoided, this will be removed with the concept of type safe. That is what you need to observe at this point of time. Again, that's a one of the best features that we have in the C ash. Moving forward to the next one that I have versionable. I have already developed one software using C ash. So I need to upgrade or I need to release the next version. So how do I do it? So is it possible for me to do it using a CH? Of course, yes, by using two things. One is new keyword. One is new keyword, another one is override. So if you use these two, so you can remove the older version and you can place the newer version is what I would like to tell you at this point of time. So this is what you need to remember whenever you're writing this. These two keywords are very, very important, my dear students. Moving forward to the next, compatible. What is the meaning of compatible? So, are you guys compatible with your uh, uh, teammates or the students or the friends, those who are with you? So, what is the meaning of compatible? So, with respect to the CASH, let's check. CASH enforces .NET common languages. What is the meaning of this? We have something called .NET Framework, okay? We have something called .NET Framework, okay? So that's what you need to remember. Under this framework, we have different languages. Under this framework, we have different languages like C hash, VB.NET, okay? And C++ and so on. So this is what you need to remember before we understand this point. You have .NET framework. So under this framework, we have different programming languages which comes under the .NET framework. That is what they're trying to explain here. Let's come back to the point. C ash enforces .NET common languages specification and therefore they allows the interoperation within the .NET languages. So since I have different languages under the same framework, so it allows to communicate between these languages. That is what they are trying to 
explain. That's why they call it as a compatible. So you can talk to other languages. So you can exchange the information between the languages. So it is compatible. I don't have any issues if I am done with this languages, which comes under the same framework. So that's what you need to remember. So moving forward to the last point. So what is that I have? Interoperable. Whenever I use the word called interoperable, you should remember one important word that is com. What is this com? Commerce, sir. Is it a commerce, sir? No. Component object modeling. What is the meaning of it? So guys, whatever you give, it will convert everything into binary. So basically the idea behind this is to make the platform independent in any language, anything you give. So it will convert it into binary so that it will help me to make it platform independent. So that is the reason I will call it as a interoperability. If I have C hash, can I call it as a, you know, can I work it in any platform? Yes, you can do it because of COM. That is what you need to remember. So these eight points are very, very important for all of you to answer the question that is going to be the mention the characteristics of C ash. All right, moving forward to the next topic without wasting much of your time. That's going to be the applications. Why should I have or why should I learn this language? That's going to be the main important question. I can do many things if I know this language. So I have just listed out uh, four here. You have many, many, many applications. So basically, the first thing I can use this language to develop the console applications. So console applications in the sense what? You would have seen some black screen, okay? So the black screen applications you would have used, right? So such things I will call it as a console applications, all right? So you can develop that with the help of CASH. So that's going to be the first one. Probably you would have written some programs, okay? Console applications, you would have seen that, CASH programs. So that is what I will call it as a console applications. So that is the first thing. The second one is Windows application. Windows application uh, in the sense say for example you would have seen uh, Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, such things are I will uh, call it as Windows applications or I will also call it as a let me take the applications from Windows. Uh, Word you would have seen, PowerPoint you would have seen, okay. So such applications I will call it as a Windows applications. You can develop your own applications like that using the C Ash. That's the second advantage that you have. All right, so the next one you can uh, develop Windows controls. Controls in the sense a lot of uh, widgets or you know, say for example, scroll bar, okay. So you will have uh, a lot of controls like you know uh, whatever you know, zoom in zoom out all those things are treated as controls you can also develop such controls using the c ash okay the, and i have uh, uh, the asp.net projects so the final one which i wanted to speak so guys you you can develop your projects using this dotnet framework it will provide you the complete suite for all of you uh, you have uh, the languages like C++, VB.NET, and also you can integrate the MySQL, and also you have the C Sharp, okay? You can just embed everything and you can design or you can develop a project. So a lot of advantages you have. Along with this application, you can also develop your own controls. You can also build your own libraries. Say for example, libraries in the sense say, I have a text box. I can also design my text box. Okay, I can also uh, design my radio button. I can also do my you know, check box. Though it is already there, I can add or I can customize, I can do my own controls. So a lot of things are available and a lot of things are, you know, you can do it using this .NET platform is what I would like to tell you at this point of time. So hope you have no, no clear idea what exactly that I'm going to do with this uh, .NET programming language. So by saying this, let me wind up the session. So I have a lot of content in the coming sessions. So probably two or three sessions, it's going to be theory, then followed by, so we will have a uh, practical uh, concepts. You will find it very, very interesting is what I would like to tell you. Uh, by saying this, uh, happy learning. Thank you. Bye-bye.